Okay, welcome back to another episode of Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to do another um, jellyfish project. The difference this time, we're going to use all acrylic paint and we're going to drip like three or four drips of oil into the center of each one of our jellyfish. And I'm right here I'm using super clear and I'm mixing this epoxy one to one. It's a tabletop epoxy and I buy it straight from the manufacturers. It's about um, $100 for two gallons and I'll leave a link in the description. Right here I pour out the first color. This is a, a blue, kind of a dark blue color. I then mix up, what I'm going to do is do dark, I'm going to do blues and greens and a white and I believe one yellow. So right there I torch it out, I pour the next color of blue and um, yeah, these colors actually, I was really happy with this color choice. Now I have a lot of fun doing these epoxy um, artwork. This one was a request and it's two feet by seven feet. So it's pretty big. Right there, I pour the yellow in there. I then mix up um, a batch of green, kind of a, um, I don't know, medium dark green and I pour that right into it. Next up I mix up some some white and this time I'm using only two two cups of white. So all the other colors I've been using like 48 ounces and this color I just used uh, two cups. Now looking back I should have probably just done equal amount because I was a little bit low on epoxy but I was able to spread it out. Right here I use the blow dryer and I really start moving that epoxy around, blending the colors and um, yeah this video I'm actually shooting with my GoPro because it seems to give a better picture. Um, right there I use a stick to kind of move it over to the sides, any, any spots that weren't covered. I then do a swirl motion with the blow dryer so that I get kind of an even distribution of the colors around it. Next up, I drip the three in one oil into the, now I'm dripping like three or four drips into each center of each one of these. And this video is sped up eight times. And then we'll switch this GoPro over to the side to get a closer look up, closer look at it. But you can see it, it's moving already. And like I said, this is eight times speed, so it's not super fast. Right here I torch it out again, try to get as many air bubbles out of it as possible. Here's a side shot, and again this is eight times speed. And this thing really changes. Actually, I, I do realize that dripping like two or three drips instead of one as far as the three-in-one oil you really get some large jellyfish. And these jellyfish on this thing, you can't tell, but they're almost all of them are like five or six inches in diameter. And it really, really came out nice. You never can tell, actually, um, you can never tell how they're gonna turn out. They're all really unique. And it's fun to do. You can see they're, they're really starting to grow. Yeah, so giant jellyfish, you just need more oil, you know, more drips of oil. This, if you just want small ones, just put one drip. But if you want some big ones like this, put like two or three drips in the, in the center of each one of your jellyfish. And it'll really create an interesting uh, interesting art project.
I'm always fascinated when I, I'll walk away from a project um, after I've dripped the oil and then I'll come back like an hour later just to see what's going on in the project. And it's amazing, you know, the, how the, it transforms. It just starts growing and the colors start coming out of the, the jellyfish, you know, different colors start appearing inside the jellyfish and it, it's pretty fun. I enjoy doing it. This particular project, I didn't really get any leaks. Um, the two big rails that I use, I have Tyvek tape on them. And then the side ones, I, I silicone them. But I'm not going to do that anymore because the silicone's too hard to get off. Um, and what I did on this one, you'll see in, in towards the end, I um, the next day, I cut the two, I, I basically cut the two sides so I, because it was just too hard to get the silicone off. Maybe there's an easier way to get that off, but I think the next time I'm gonna use a different type of, I'm gonna basically seal up the ends a little different. Okay, so you can really, they've really gotten bigger. Look at the ones in the left left hand corner right there. They're really growing. I do one final torch right here. And then just walk away. It's hard to tell, but you can still see them growing. Now I got the room temperature at 71. You can see my pellet stove in the background. It's uh, it's cranking away. That was really a good addition to this shop too, because it really, I can really keep the temperature at a, at um, at a consistency for doing epoxy, and and that works pretty good. Right there, I think they're about done growing. You can see they've really gotten big. I mean, this piece of wood right here, or this project, it's two foot by seven foot, so it's pretty big. So some of those, some of those jellyfish are eight inches in diameter. Right here's the next day, and I take some denatured alcohol and some water, um, kind of a little 50-50 mix, and I clean all the oil off the top of my project. I then unscrew all the molds. Save those for the next one and then get all the clamps and stuff undone. This one really turned out good. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. The only thing that I would not do again is try cutting cutting off the sides. Um, I cut this first side off and um, it actually chipped the epoxy a little bit so I had to cut it again and then I used a both times I used a fine tooth blade but the first time I don't think it was a fine enough blade so I pulled out another saw and, and did it again. But that I'm gonna avoid doing that next time. I, I think I'm gonna um, work on my mold a little bit on the two ends because the side, the big long sides came out perfect. I didn't have to do anything. It's just the two ends where I used silicone. It was just uh, trouble to get it off of there. Again, this is epoxy on top of MDF board and seems to work pretty good. Right there you can see I'm cutting the other side. I lay down some blue tape and then cut that. Next up, I take a file and I just give a, give a slight cleaning of um, filing of the edge right there on both sides and a little bit. Anything that was, any of the fiberglass that was kind of sticking up a little bit, I just give it a little file around it. Right here, I tape it up and then I get out some of the um, gunmetal gray paint that I used to primer these boards in the first place and I touch up the two ends. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I hope you like the giant jellyfish video. Um, so the way I did this, like I said, was I dripped three drips minimum in each one. And that, that enabled it to create these really large cells. These things are like as big as my hand. Really colorful. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but um, 
yeah, I think it turned out really nice. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, check out our store at outlawwoodworking.bigcartel.com. And I will see you next time. Later.